You are now entering Armbar Audio. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Armbar Audio. I'm your host, Tim Farley, and next to me is my trusted companion. John Jerns, what's up, everybody? Today, we are doing another watch-along. And for our... Well, first off, we put up a poll, and New Japan won. Right, John? Yep. And then our friend on Twitter, at Setters Nick, but his name is Nick Setters, but someone already took that name. I would know because uh, I tagged the other person once. I felt like a dumb dumb. But uh, he wanted a match from the NJPW versus UWF feud, which is the feud where Eric Bischoff would be inspired to create the NWO. Uh, This match right here is the culmination of that feud. New Japan's Shinya Hashimoto trying to reclaim the IWGP championship from UWF's ace, Nobuhiko Takara. 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 Okara. (laughs) It wasn't racist, I swear. It's just, you know, we hear it when we watch New Japan. Japan. Well, not so much anymore, but, you know. Yeah. In the olden days. But, uh... Kenny! This match is supposedly kind of short for a New Japan match, but I heard it still has the big fight feel. And it has a... It has everything you want. So, uh... If you want to watch along, aka why you're why you're listening or watching this, uh, go on New Japan, New Japan World, Japan World, or your other nefarious uses if you can't afford ten dollars a month. Uh, don't hate on pirates. I'm not. Arr. Anyway, uh, John, let them know. Let them know. Let yeah. them know what. When to start the shit. All right. Well, we'll let them. Get it booted up, you know. Give them a minute or so. Uh, Or just pause this video and come back when you're good and ready. But we're synced up on zero zero. And we're ready to go here. So I'm going to say... And John. Yeah? I've never watched either of these guys. I haven't either. I've honestly not watched a lot of old New Japan. And I should. And that's... And I'm really excited to be doing this. Yeah. It's from, uh, it's called New Japan Battle Formation. Yeah. From 1996. Yes. Tokyo Dome Show. So that's good. Yeah, this is before they came up with the name Wrestle Kingdom. Mm Mm-hmm. Although they had been doing January 4th Tokyo Dome Shows for a long time, but this is from April. 29th. Yes, sir. You are 1996, correct. 1996, which I believe is the same year we when we watched uh, the Ultimo Dragon match, where he won all the belts. Uh, John, I can't say for sure, but year. possibly. I think, oh, I, I think this is the third New Japan match we've done this way, and I think that they've all been from 1996. <laughs> well, we did the well. This one, uh, was and then the we Raven. did Black Tiger versus Jushin, I believe. Did we do that? No, yeah. that was a, did we not? No, that was in the running with the Ultimate uh, Dragon. Right. Well, fuck it, I think. Uh, so yeah, we're ready to go. In three, two, one. Because you're deaf, I can hear it. From where? Here. There's not much of a sound happening yet, and if we turn it up too much, the mic will pick it up. Okay. You want to throw some headphones in? Yeah. Grab the thing from the floor.
Just the introduction so far, so no big deal. Hashimoto is a stocky son of a bitch. He just looks like a bad motherfucker. That's the only thing that I can say about him. Yeah. Takata kind of looks like Okada. Or or a little thicker Shibata. Yeah. He he he's got like those classic old school good looks. Like Suzuki was whenever mm -hmm. he was younger. And uh Anoki back in the day. Yeah, Anoki always had that big big face. I'm thinking like of that. another person. Suzuki back in the day looked like a goddamn movie s s star. It looked like Japanese Elvis. Yeah. All right. Test the strength. Chest to chest. Hashimoto takes him down. Looks like quite a bloody ring. I wonder what happened in previous events. <laughs> I don't know, but I heard the entire show is pretty good. Oh, nice takedown by Takata. But Hashimoto used it to rule him up. That's some expert shit. Malachi Black has definitely <clears throat> watched this match. Why do you say that? Like the way he takes down people with his legs and shit. Right. Plus, it's fresh in my mind because the only match I watched last night from AEW was him and Dante. You Not watched even the, the whole one. You, actually, you, yeah. you watched the best one of the night. <clears throat> Takata trying to get the arm breaker here. I'm noticing something interesting about the referee. You know, uh, if you look at his footwear. I think I know what you're gonna what yeah. what they're gonna look like. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that the original? Is, is that the, old is school the original Uno? Red shoes? Is this the old school Uno? <laughs> no, I mean like I wonder if it's actually him. Probably is. I don't know. He doesn't really look like <clears throat> that guy. Yeah, but you gotta imagine this is fucking over twenty years. Yeah, but ago. that guy looks the age Red Shoes is now. <laughs> Maybe that's Hashimoto fucking Tiger got... Tori. Now they're trading kicks to the legs, and Takata's taking over. Oh, now oh, he got him in the face. Oh, oh man. If I was JR right now, I'd say, Little educated feet. If I was Kevin Gilbert right now, I'd say, Oh, God fucking damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Going for that arm breaker again. Oh, he's got it locked in. But Hashimoto's too close to the rope. Quickly gets to the rope. Do you think fucking Shinsuke Nakamura took inspiration for his gear directly from Hashimoto? It's possible, dude. Because look, it looks exactly the same. Yeah, like if Nakamura was in 96? Mm-hmm. With the sash and everything? Right. Oh, Hashimoto is laying him in now. He lifted him off the ground with those kicks. Oh, well, Takata with a roll-up too close to the ropes. Gotta be, gotta have that ring awareness. Crowd is all about this match, also. Yeah, very loud. To 
Takata went for a leg takedown, but Hashimoto grabbed the head. Now he's got the arm. Looking for a wrist lock or a double wrist lock here. Yes, this definitely feels like even and hot. Yeah. And it feels like the uh, the New Japan matches of this era, even. Especially when you get guys like Ishii in there. Right. Yeah, those Hashimoto kicks were reminding me of Goto. Ha Hashimoto kind of similar in the facial region to Greg Valentine. Absolutely. Yeah. Kind of the build, too. Maybe he's like the Japanese counterpart of Greg the Hammer Valentine. Ah, but with more starting powerful to take legs, the apparently, damage to Jesus the leg. Christ. Holy shit. He's probably getting a Charlie horse right now. Figure, Figure four. four. Now, I did read the reason the crowd's going wild is because Takata beat Mudo. Yeah. And Mudo, uh, you know, was famous against Ric Flair. And I think whenever he went back to Japan after his NWA slash WCW excursions, he would use figure four. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. <clears throat> Holy shit, there is a lot of blood. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, all over the entire ring. <laughs> Takata gets to the ropes. New Japan's never really dove into death matches, have they? No, so I, 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 I can't. My knowledge. I can't really imagine oh! where this blood would have came from. Oh. Takata going for a Saito. <clears throat> Saito. But Hashimoto's <laughs> grabbing the head. Nope. Takata lands it. <laughs> He's got the arm breaker in again. He doesn't have full extension. Hashimoto is fighting it. Yeah, Hashimoto's a burly son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Now Hashimoto got his hands locked. Now throw that other leg over the arm and work it. Nope. Now he's going to the leg. Half crab. I love watching 90s matches, man. 90s matches? Yeah, just the aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah. Takes me back to my childhood. Like the colors and like like the psycho clock back there. Yeah. That was like a big watch company. They might still be. I'm partial to the like VHS quality. Yeah. It gives it that nostalgic. Nostalgicness. Oh, big chop. Oh, 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 oh. he <laughs> slapped that motherfucker in the face, bro. Overhand chops to the head, too. Probably landing on the ears. <clears throat> he said, Fuck your rope break. I'm dropping an elbow. You know, that's what it is. Takata so kind of looks like Suzuki. Kind of. When I was talking about him looking like Shibata and Okada, I was talking about the like build. the build. Yeah. Yeah. 
to call it back with the kicks. Oh, oh, oh swept the leg. That was very fancy for this match. <laughs> and now Takata is holding the knee. I noticed the referee's shirt is also somewhat covered in blood. Do you you think, know what? Do you, that does do look think, like Tiger Hattori. But do you think he had something to do with this? Are we... I think we should uncover the mystery that the referee AKA killed someone watch, before this match happened. AKA watch the entire show. <laughs> if that was Tiger Hattori, that'd be wild. Well, wasn't he a ref before? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks like Tiger. It doesn't look like... Uh, Red Shoes. Bruno. Red Shoes face is more like <laughs> What what's it like? <laughs> Not doing it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Get you. <laughs> Ashimoto's got that ring awareness, dog. Takata said fuck it. He doesn't care, he's going back to the arm. Eliciting booze from the crowd. Well, he had a real bad wedgie, though. <laughs> like, bro, don't, don't God. poop. God. Hashimoto's build also reminds me of Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, because yeah. he's not like fat, a little bit of vapor. But he's 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 just a thick son of a gun. He he's oh, got Tagata he... flips over the suplex. <laughs> Hashimoto put him on the ground with a chop. He's got like that power lift build. DDT, big DDT, and the crowd's going nuts. Hashimoto might be my favorite New Japan wrestler. <laughs> You're out of your mind. You just want this is the only match you've ever seen of him. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna watch more. I'm gonna I'll say I'll, I already want to watch more of both of these guys. These are two guys I'd never even heard the names. Brain Buster! I was looking around. Uh, head on, scissors, uh, arm trap, submission type deal. I was looking around on some forums and like Reddit and shit before this, and uh, same. A lot of people were talking specifically about the crowd. Takata taps. Takata taps, and the they both bow to each other. And the stream was muted because of music. That's usually what it is. Yeah. Hashimoto has got back the title for New Japan. That was some hard hitting shit, man. Yeah, you can see that a lot of today's wrestling was influenced, especially the strong style. By this. Take this. <laughs> it was nineteen ninety six. Do you see that title? Yeah. Very small compared to its Western counterparts. I swear they still have those exact same barricades. 
<laughs> They've never bought new ones. I don't know if I've ever watched a New Japan match or a Japanese match where the crowd was this vocal. Alive, yeah. Well, that was uh, damn good. Yeah, man. Shit. You want to do another one? Uh, Throw it in as a bonus? Another Hashimoto match? Maybe? Whatever. I don't know. Yeah, throw his name in there. That is probably really good. Or that one. It's another guy I've never watched, but I've heard so much about. All right, so okay, we have chosen the bonus match. Tim. From the Dream Tour 1990 uh, at the Nippon Budokan for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, Ricky Chozu against Shinya Hashimoto. And I've heard a lot about Ricky Chozu, and I, but I've never seen one of his matches. Yeah, he's one I've heard he's the He's trained name a lot a of lot. people, and he either came up, I believe he came up with the Scorpion Deathlock slash Sharpshooter, <laughs> but I'm not sure on that. Uh, Choshu is a guy that one Chris Charlton mentions a lot. Yeah, he, he had major influence on wrestlers of today. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, link for this one is also in the description. So we're going to go three, two, one. So this is six years before the match we just watched. Yeah, 1990. Year before my birth. I think I might just start walking the streets on my days off like Hashimoto. Just no shirt, pants with the sash. And the fucking... Uh, white headband. Yep. Where the fucking tails go down to your ankle. <laughs> I, I was going to mention uh, Hashimoto looking like he just time-traveled from the match we just watched to this. Right. <laughs> Chozu, no, Chozu no kind of looks like a Japanese version of Mike Awesome with that fucking mullet, dude. Yeah. Other than sideburns, no difference on Hashimoto. <laughs> well, it doesn't. Well, it's actually not a mullet. It's just styled that way. His hair is pushed back. No, I think... Is it not a... No, it's not, I guess. It's not shaved at all. Yeah, and if he pushed his hair forward, it would still be there, you know? Yeah. Two big sons of bitches. Chosu I immediately... Black Trunks, white boots combo. I immediately noticed that Chozu, like Suzuki and other shoot wrestlers, has no knee, no pads. knee pads. Yeah. That shit always stands out to me. It stands out to me because it looks weird. Right. I don't because like you're not it. used to it. I don't like You're it. not used to seeing it. Remember whenever... They, they, uh, look, they, they, they look too naked. Remember whenever uh, Cody Rhodes had like really... His, his like calves weren't fully built yet. Yeah. And his shit would always fall off in WWE. That's funny. He's, he, he starts off with knee pads and ends up with kick pads. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Chozu's going for a bow and arrow, but he changes it up to just take a. And he didn't like that. Give a at kick all. to Hashimoto. No. <laughs> Chozu looks like a sumo wrestler looking at his plate. That's how he looked at Chozu. Yeah. He was like, I'm going to eat you alive, bro. One thing I always notice about old matches, watching old, like, any old sporting event, really, is the uh, the cameras can't really handle the lights correctly. 
And you always get those little trails. Yeah. Just something that AV nerds notice. <laughs> Test of strength, Hashimoto took him down, but Chozu's coming back. These guys, especially Chozu, they're not built like the bodybuilders of the 90s wrestlers in America, but they're built like strong men. Yeah. Like guys who you would see on the street and you would be like, that guy would whoop my ass. Hashimoto targeting the leg now. <clears throat> and I would argue that that look is more intimidating. Intimidating, yes. yes. Absolutely. You look at the uh, at the American wrestlers of the nineties and your first thought is, oh, he knows how to shove a needle in his ass cheek. <laughs> yep. You look at these guys and you're like, oh, he looks like he could murder me. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. With his bare hands. <laughs> why, why must you bear arms? <laughs> From Pineapple Express. <laughs> this shit's so funny. It's a watch along. I talk about whatever I want. Fuck off. Just do a Pineapple Express watch along. <laughs> Save that for the universe. Yeah. That's an idea that I've had. Like movie nights. We should. We should do it. That's a good idea. Chozu with some leg lifts slash kicks. And Hashimoto just grabbed one and put him on the ground. Now Chozu looks like he's trying to bait him into a ground game. Oh yeah, I saw the waves. That's rad. You know who probably gets off on that? Sid. Why? Because <laughs> he's all into like the 80s, 90s aesthetic and the oh, paper yeah. wave shit and all that. Doesn't happen all the time. It happens. You you notice it a lot if you watch like old basketball videos. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Chozu is really working to ground Hashimoto. Because as we saw in the previous match and in this match, Hashimoto's strikes are uh, f impactful. Right. Hmm. Now that you pointed it out, I'm, I'm seeing it more. And yeah. I love it. I fucking love it. See, as where you said it makes them look more naked, it makes you feel uncomfortable. It makes <laughs> me feel like, fuck that, I don't need a knee pad, I'm badass. Right. Now Hashimoto laying in those strikes. Big shoulder block takes down shows. Maybe I just have a subconscious knee problem like Charlie Kelly. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dislikes. People's knees. <laughs> what are your hobbies and interests? Magnets. Like, do you collect them? Just magnets. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Hashimoto's trying to lock in a Kimura. Yeah. And there's kind of like where he'll pause for a second and then do like a big twist. You know, I would not know any of this shit if it wasn't for Mike Tanay. Mike Tanay. Excalibur. Yeah. Mauro Charlton. Ranallo. Chris Charlton. I love, I love when a commentary team has has that type of commentator. I want to say nerd, but like super wrestling nerd, you know? Yeah. And JCW, that guy, Nick Knowledge, he's fantastic. Nick Knowledge and JCW, the guy, um, the guy that now very often used to not be around a lot, but now very often, yeah, Dave Prezak. He knows his shit as well. And uh, if you watch regular WWE, the only type of guys who talk like that uh, or women are on the NXT brands. Beth Phoenix, for sure. Nigel. Nigel. Michael Cole knows his shit, too. And when he's allowed to show it off, he can be very entertaining. Or very informative. Informative. I always go back to that first UK Beast. tournament when people shit on Michael Cole. And the Beast in the East. Yeah. That was a fucking good show. I miss that era of NXT. Look at those tits. <laughs> if I was Taz right now, I'd, I'd say that Hashimoto was on bar Jones. On bar Jones. Everybody's Jones. I kind of love it. <laughs> Did you watch the Danielson Suzuki match? Oh, hell yeah. Fucking hilarious whenever he was like, if you're not watching this free on YouTube right you're now, dumbass. you're a dumbass. And Excalibur kind of went, what? <laughs> he was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> that other match you watched, if you were Jericho, you would have been like, he slapped him in the face! <laughs> <laughs> Just scream everything at the top of your lungs. <laughs> Hashimoto has the upper hand right now laying in those strikes on Chozu. Fuck. It's so different. Like, when somebody lands a chest kick, yeah. a high chest kick, and they just sell that as opposed to like Dan- Brian Danielson or like Goto going ham with them. You know what I mean? Because, like, sometimes less is more, but sometimes more is good, too. Yeah. It's just like the, how do you want the match to feel? There's that DDT again. I think my favorite um, Chozu combination break. of those kicks is when they'll do two or three, like, short, quick ones, and then the wind-up and then the, the big one. Right. I like that a lot. Oh! Oh. Big leg lariat, but they are in the ropes. Hashimoto is very athletic for his build. Look how different the the corner pads look here. German. Yeah, there's no... uh, I don't even think the middle of the ring has any... um, 
No, there's no love. There's nothing yeah. in the middle of the ring at all. Advertisements. That's what. I was, that's the word I was looking for. And it looks like there's padding on the posts as well. Hashimoto lock, trying to lock in a, a sleeper hold. Uh, I'd say it's locked choke. in. Because uh, Joshu's fading. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I was trying to figure out which arms are whose. <laughs> but obviously, Chozu's are the ones with the taped hands. Well, no, they both have the same setup here. Where they have the right hand taped and the left hand not. Ah. They're both got the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the exact same way of wrapping. <laughs> oh. See, but the fact oh, that no, he you know lays what I just in. Noticed? The fact that he lays in one strike and it hits him like that. Yeah. It makes you feel final boss like, like, like Walter. I actually just noticed Hashimoto's actually got like the whole uh, Triple H thing going where it's just wrist on this hand and full tape on this. <laughs> Chozu crabs a leg. Kicking. Oh, just brutal. Kicking the quads. Oh, just punch a the punch. Face. I love watching wars, man. And the referee, who may or may not be Tigeratory, was giving him the riot act. <laughs> may or may not yeah. be. <laughs> Another one. You know, if that was Red Shoes, you'd only be allowed to do that 10 or 12 more times before. <laughs> 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 Some kicks and then a knee to the face. Double stomp that we don't know if it landed or not because the camera didn't think it was important enough. Saito! Choshu had a near fall. Oh, getting the big man up top. Ricky Choshu going for a superplex on the big man Hashimoto. I don't know if that's going to work. The Tiger Hattori is holding his ass. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> he got him over. And even though that didn't look like a perfect suplex... The fact that it didn't look perfect made it look even more impactful. Yeah. Sometimes less polish gives it more of a <clears throat> battle. M like, more of a fight feel. Yeah. It makes it look more real. Lariat takes him down to a knee, comes back up. Chozu hits him with another lariat down, down to a knee, knee again. again. <clears throat> That was in unison. Oh! Takes him down with the reverse lariat to the back the, of the don't neck. Don't they call that like the southern lariat or something? Because it's from the back or something? I think um, maybe, yeah. Joshua with another near fall. The crowd comes alive. Yeah, these 90s uh, New Japan crowds are hot, man. Oh, he went for another went for leg the, lariat. Yeah. But he missed him. And a huge lariat takes down Hashimoto. And that's it. And if this was today, I would be like Kevin Kelly and be like, Pumping Bomber! <laughs> that was a pretty good match. Those were good, man. Yeah. Good stuff. Definitely, definitely preferred Takata and Hashimoto. Yeah. But I want to see more. Chozu. Of both. Yeah, all three of them. All three. Um, so, we don't know what we're going to do for next week. We're still working that out. But, um, do something. 
you know, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're back in the saddle, baby. Back in the saddle. Um, John, you want to talk about anything? No. You want to talk about uh, November? Uh, it's not quite close enough yet. All right. <laughs> well, that does it for this episode of Armbar Audio. Hopefully you joined along. Hopefully you liked or thought we were funny or, you know, informative or whatever. It didn't. Who gives a shit? Uh, <laughs> just watch this fucking video and subscribe and like and, you know, buy our merch and support us because we're fucking poor. So, forever, what wherever you... Huh? What, what, what an outro. What, <laughs> well, you know, at the beginning of every, like, YouTube video for everyone, they're like, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and they, like, have things. And we, the we never do that. So, I was just, like, saying... I don't know how to do it figure it out <laughs> that's we ever give that's a fuck we don't do it because <laughs> i don't know how <laughs> wherever you are in the world whether it's morning noon or night you have a great one and peace and love to all of you and get ready for them g1 finals baby let's go Cobb. let's go zach zach bang